what's what's up hi welcome to the let's talk tennis podcast the best podcast in my mind uh today it's gonna be a shorter episode a little more somber i don't know why we're lagging my monitor sucks apparently this is good well if you're watching the audio version or the video version my bad uh the Maybe that'll work. We'll see. Well, well, I'm breaking things. Anyways, so the last time we were on here, I don't even remember what we talked about. We talked about something. It went somewhere doing something. Since then, a lot has happened. And if you're reading the title of this podcast, and if you... Are you walking? And if you read the... Or looked at the the thumbnail. Uh, the Sadie episode. So about two weeks ago, just over I believe two weeks ago. Uh, for those who don't know, Sadie, my dog, long time podcast guest, a uh, long time podcast interrupter, some might say. We had to put her down, as there was, I believe they said it was a tumor on her spine which is really tough but the in comparison to what we would have to do to keep her alive it wouldn't be as good of a life well, the quality of life uh, so yeah. we did have to put her down so this episode is probably just going to be about her Every little bit we can talk about her. Uh, so I don't even know where to go from here. No, me neither. This was, I'm not going to lie, I've been kind of putting off this episode. Can you tell by the, the, the being kind of a week late? Uh, but it's two weeks. Two weeks. Well, a week and a half. The... Mm-hmm. I lost what I was going to say. Actually, so it sucks. Where I work is right beside the vet where we put her down. And I remember we it was like one of my... This was happening... It would have been about two, two and a half weeks. We I was working. And I... My parents are like, okay, it's bad. We're going to take her to the vet. Big chance not coming home, which was I was thinking and expecting. The We took her, or my parents took her, and I texted her. I texted my mom saying, you know, what happened? She didn't answer. I texted her as I was leaving. She called me and let me know that she we had to put her down. Um... With that, it's it's kind of just a spiral. It's been weird. Even two weeks later, it's been a little bit weird not having her. And I think you're going to, because since you're coming over, say today's Friday, you're going to be coming over tomorrow. You're going to feel, it's going to feel really weird. Yeah. Um. Yeah. But I mean, it's it's been, you know, our little vacuum isn't there anymore to clean up the little scraps of food. <laughs> but it's it's been, it's been. I don't know how the rest of my family has been. My mom took it pretty hard, but I think she's getting better. I'm feeling a little bit better since the last two weeks. <laughs> It's been, it's been really tough, and she's it's it's been really 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 weird. Considering that I've gone back and I've edited footage, and made shorts of Sadie, and there's been footage of her in it, and I'm like, oh, I forgot she was in this one. But I mean, it, it, you you get kind of used to it after a while. 
What's your takes on it? I don't know, really. I don't really have much to say. Um, uh, I was a little surprised, actually, when you told me about it. I was a little surprised. I, uh, yeah, so after that day at work, I went over to Saps for the night. Not for the night. It wasn't for the night. It was just for, because I had, hadn't seen it. for the day, yeah. And yeah. it was, we didn't leave the house. <laughs> we watched How I Met Your Mother. <laughs> or we whatever. were going to leave the house, too, and then we decided not to. No. Um... It was, like, coming home, it was really weird. And I don't think I slept at all that night. Even I didn't sleep. Yeah. Yeah. But it was, it was, I don't know, it's something that I've kind of gotten used to now. I'm not at all. And it's something that you... Like, you know it happened. It's really it's such a really weird feeling. Because you know it's going to happen. And because it's going to happen, you prepare for it, but you're not ready for it. Yeah. Like if that if that makes any sense. I think that's that comes with not just losing a pet, but like anything, right? You can prepare yeah. your entire life for not doing something and then when it doesn't happen you're not used to you're not you're still not ready for it no matter how much you convince yourself you are well like when you came over i wasn't ready for that <laughs> to be honest yeah you were in the it's still in the I, oh she's I fine <laughs> I thought she was going to be okay because I thought it was I thought it was just her paw, but I was wrong. It, so it ended up, it's so, it, it, oh my god, my words. It started out being, we thought it was just, she kind of twisted her paw because she was limping on the paw. And then we kind of gave her some painkillers that she had from a last, like a liver issue. And it turns out that it, she just never got better and I remember I was getting up getting ready for work and she was on my bed and I don't even know how to describe it but she it almost like she was screaming in pain because she couldn't get off my bed and it took about five to ten minutes to get her off I think that was the toughest part and then you know going to uh, work and having a at the time I had a one to one kid where it, I was responsible for the kid great kid but you you sit there and you're like I don't know how to comprehend this and you kind of have to put it by kind of have to put it in the back of your mind but when you put it in the back of your mind it's still kind of there every now and then it was it was really weird and the, I, I don't know. It was really weird the last couple of days. But it also wasn't a shock. I'm trying to think of how else I can describe this. I can't think of how else um. I'm going to describe this. Um, well, I could tell you how you reacted when I, mm -hmm. but that's if you want me to. Okay. Um, I wasn't prepared at all. I, I didn't think about it. I didn't even know about it. I, I, I wasn't even, it wasn't even my mind. That it was going to happen. Right. And. 
I remember you came in and I was like, hey, baby, how are you? My my overly go lucky, cheery self. And then you started shaking your head. And I thought you had had a bad day at work. And I thought I was just going to, like, you just wanted to cuddle until you started crying. And then I knew it had happened because mm-hmm. I knew that she was supposed to go to the vet that day. and. I knew it happened the moment you started, like, like, you didn't even have to really say anything, because I, I knew, and then I just sat there, and I was baffled. I didn't even say anything, either. I just remember you fell into my arms, and we just sat there for a little bit, and it was just that. It was a lot harder than I thought it was going to be. For me, anywho. I think... I don't know what's worse. Not expecting it or expecting it. You... I don't know. Because... Like, when you expect something like that to happen with anyone, you can prepare. And you know it's going to happen. And you try to value the last little bit. Yeah. But you it, even when you don't expect it, you still have you still end up having the same reaction, but you also like it, it's it, it's almost the same. Like you value the last whatever. If that makes sense. I don't sense. know. I I feel like I feel like I would have taken it easier if I knew it was going to happen. Right. Mm-hmm. What day got? But that's just... just me. I don't know how. I I actually think this might have been the first time that I've properly talked about this. Um. Yeah. Yeah. You. I don't. Haven't really talked about it since. Actually, I actually think since I was over. But it was something yeah. that we, like, as a family, kind of knew it was going to happen. And I remember my, remember, like, coming home and the next day waking up and going, I hope we don't get another pet soon. It's like I, I would still love the pet, cherish it, whatever. But it's like it's too soon. Cause I remember we got Sadie less than a week after the previous, like our previous dog died, and I always thought it was weird. And you. Like, as a, like, I get it from the parent's perspective. You want your kid to have a pet. And you want your kids to love the pet and be happy. But when you immediately introduce a new, a new pet into the family right after an old one, you can, I don't think it happened with me. But the other pet almost becomes, like, the memory of them isn't the same, if that makes sense. Like, you you introduce, say, we'll use a cat for this instance. Your cat dies. Uh, you, um, like, your 10-year-old kid. And then you immediately buy a new cat. Well, the old cat, it's not going to be valued as much. If that makes any sort of sense. Which I I valued all my pets the same. And I don't think there was 
like one you I didn't get super upset about. But as uh, with you know working with children, you lose one, you get another one. It's like, oh yeah, new puppy. Why is Creative Cloud open? Why is Creative Cloud? <laughs> Why? Why? Every time I go to like stream or record, this pops up and it bothers me. Oh well. Oh well. Anywho, but it you as a family, it's tough because I and and I do want to bring. I know I said it would be like a 20-minute episode, basically all about Sadie. But the idea of waiting too long, if that makes sense. Like, you know, it could be the same thing with you know, a grandparent, a parent, a great-grandparent. There's a point where you know it's close and it like goes up, up, up and it's like, okay, this is the right time before it sails down. I think with Sadie, we did it at the right time because she was older. She wouldn't have been able to do as much and she wouldn't have been as happy. Which brings me to a, let's say, a grandmother, grandfather, whatever. If you are experiencing this right now, my apologies. But I think if you as a family come and be like, okay, their life isn't going to get better. Let's not keep them around to suffer. I think that is the right mindset. And I think it is super selfish if people keep people around or like animals, pets around to suffer. What's your thought on that? Um, I don't know. Really? I just don't, I don't know what to say to that. Really? I think it depends on circumstance. That's fair. That's fair. So I, 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 I don't know what to say. <laughs> That's fair. I'm kind of. Yeah, I think it just depends on circumstance. Cause like, if you're suffering and you know you can fix it, and you have the money and the time and the effort to be able to do it and it won't cause your animal or person any harm then go for it keep going but if it's too much that you know they're not going to be able to bear it they're going to be in pain they're going to be hurting then don't continue so i think it's just about circumstance that's fair Okay, well, I don't think we'll keep recording any longer for this episode. Uh, we kind of got out what we needed to say, kind of what I needed to say. My emotional support salve is right here, too. <laughs> uh, I'm not going to put any links in the description. I'm not going to put basically anything in the description. It's going to be something small. Uh, I don't know if Dog Heaven has YouTube or Spotify, but Sp Sadie, if you're listening to this, we love you and we miss you. Um, follow, subscribe. Episode 19 is this. Episode 20 will be in two weeks. We were on 20 episodes. That's crazy. And uh, sorry to anybody who might get emotional. Yep, sorry for anyone who <laughs> got emotional. Um, if you guys have any personal experiences you want to vent about, throw it down in the comments, please. 
don't hold it in. And uh, we'll see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.